Hi, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday. Today we're going to read the second part of our story titled Chickens Aren't the Only Ones by Ruth Heller, a book about animals that lay eggs. Front cover, back cover, and spine. First, let's review our vocabulary words because learning is fun and learning new words is more fun. Here we go. Our first vocabulary word is mammal. Do you remember what a mammal is? Can you name some mammals for teacher? Now remember, mammals can have fur or hair like me. Do bears have fur? You're right, a bear is a mammal. As you can see here, we have a picture of a, a pig, a mama pig and a mama dog. They are mammals. That means their babies are born alive and they do not lay eggs. Our next vocabulary word is, do you remember the word hatch? Now, some animals have many eggs. They lay many eggs. Like spiders lay many eggs and they put them in a sack. Ducks can lay eight to 10 eggs. Uh, let me see what other animals lay eggs. Oh my goodness, fish, they lay a lot of eggs also. Okay, so hatch, the babies hatch out of the egg. And sometimes the birds, they have to use a little beak and the beak is hard and they peck, 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 and they crack it and they get out by themselves. And so do penguins. Baby penguins also use their beak. Peck, 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 peck. Interesting, huh? So a hatch means that the baby's being born out of the egg. Good. Our next vocabulary word is oviparous. Can you say oviparous? Let's see if you can name some animals that are oviparous. Here in our picture, we have a snake. Can you see the snake? And we have ducks. And we have a turtle, chicken. And we have a stork and an alligator. Can you name any more animals that are oviparous? Come on, you're right, frogs are oviparous. Well, we have our video chats. I want you to talk to me about animals that are oviparous. Am I oviparous? No, 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 I do not lay eggs like a duck. Quack, quack. Our next vocabulary word is bird. As you can see here, there's many, many, many different types of birds. There's little tiny birds like the hummingbird and there's big birds like the, you're right, ostrich. And they have a beak and feathers. Now you remember, you're going to learn that the feathers on the ostrich are different from the feathers from the other birds. And remember, the ostrich can't fly and either can the penguin or the turkey, right? Our next vocabulary word is egg. An egg is either round or oval, and they come in different sizes and different colors, as you can see here in our picture and in our book. Our last vocabulary word is the word lay. The word lay means when an animal, like a bird, has eggs that come out of their body. Now, Birds and a lot of other animals need to nest and sit on the eggs. Now, they don't smash the eggs. They're very careful because they need to keep them warm. A lot of eggs, if they're not kept warm, the baby's not going to come out. The baby needs to keep warm. That means incubation. That means to keep warm like how you keep warm with the blanket at night. All right, let's get started on reading our second half of our story, our learning book. Right, my friends? We're going to review our pages that we've already read. So remember our first page? What's that? You're right, that is a crocodile and that's a reptile. Here we go. So we already counted our hens. We have how many? Or chickens? Eight, good. Chickens aren't the only ones. So we talked about how chickens and a rooster and the chickens lay eggs. What do you like to eat with your eggs? Or how do you like your eggs prepared? Do you like scrambled eggs? Do you like an omelet? Do you like an egg sandwich? Teacher Loopy loves egg sandwiches. And on Easter time, people also decorate their eggs. You see all these decorations? Aren't they beautiful? 
I even see some flowers. Now remember this bird? What's this bird called? You're right, a peacock. Now which one's a boy and which one's a girl? Do you remember? You're right, the one with all the colors is the boy. And the girl, the mama, is a brown peacock. And here are the babies. And do you remember this page? How there's a lot of birds that are wild. That means you cannot keep them as a pet. No, 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 because it's not safe. Then here we have some birds that are tame. Like the turkey, often you'll find them in a petting zoo or at a farm. Also the geese you'll find at a petting zoo and ducks you'll find in a pond and also a swan. But remember, all animals can bite. So you still have to be careful. Like even doggies can bite, right? Here we have all the different eggs. Look at how beautiful they are. Look at all the colors. Oh my goodness. Do you remember which bird lays the largest egg? You're right, my friends, the ostrich. Which bird lays the smallest egg? You're right, the hummingbird. Look really close at the bottom of the page. You'll see the smallest egg. It's so tiny. Remember this page? These are reptiles. We have the snake, they lay eggs. We have the lizards, they lay eggs. Crocodiles lay eggs, and turtles, and tortoises. There we go. Let's see. Remember dinosaurs? They're also in the reptile family, and we learned the word extinct, which means they're not here anymore. They're all gone, but they also laid eggs, all of them. Here we have the amphibians. Amphibians are frogs, and they're you can see here, I want to show you salamanders too. I wanted to say salamanders and frogs. See here's salamanders and here's frogs. And here's their life cycle. You can see they start off with eggs and they have many, many eggs. And they end up, be they end up being a tadpole. And then they grow two front arms. And then they grow two legs. And they still have a tail. And then the tail disappears. And they become a frog. See? And look at the salamanders. They have the same life cycle, too, as the frogs. And they lay, you're right, eggs. All right, so here's the page where we left off. Here we go. Fish eggs float up to the surface or sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. Oh, I didn't know they floated. Isn't that interesting? Look at how beautiful all these fish are. Look at the different designs on their bodies and the different types. Look, some of their fins are different. Look at the one on the bottom. It's really different, huh? But they all lay what? Eggs. You're right. All right, let's see what's next. This mother seahorse lays her eggs into the father's pouch. He keeps them there until they hatch. And then he's through. I think that's nice of him, don't you? Oh, uh, remember we talked about the seahorse? Isn't that interesting? So mama lays the eggs and daddy says, okay, I'm ready for you. So he opens his pouch and then mama puts the eggs in there. And there are many, many eggs. Puts a lot of them in there and daddy keeps them safe and warm until ready, until they're ready to be born. And when they're born, they already know how to swim. So daddy and mommy don't even have to teach them how to swim. Isn't that great? These, these fathers, too, are helping out by guarding eggs, protect a, that foamy mass that's floating by. See right here? And they won't leave until they're sure that all the eggs have hatched. So these fish here, the daddies help protect the fish, the baby eggs. Because if they don't, other fish or other animals that live in the ocean will eat the eggs up. Okay, and that's just the way life is. And that's why the mommies and daddies are saying, no, 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 you are not going to eat our eggs. We are protecting them. See, they work as a team. These don't look like eggs to me, but they were laid in the sea. This one is by a shark. This one is by a ray in a mermaid's purse, they say. Oh, look, isn't that interesting? doesn't look like a mermaid. They call it a mermaid's purse. 
Oh my goodness, so these are stingrays right here. Wow, and these are sharks. Isn't that interesting? The octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs and then to hang them up in strings attached to rocks or caves. So look, this is interesting. Look at, see all these, see this, all that's hanging right here? They look like decorations, don't they? But they're eggs. And she lays a lot, a lot of eggs. Right here it says 100,000 eggs. That's a lot of eggs. And that looks like a lot of work, don't you think so? But this one's called moon, sa moon snails. Eggs are mixed with sand to form this collar looking band. Oh, wow. So this moon snail mixes her eggs up with sand to protect them. Isn't that interesting? Animals are pretty smart. Spiders wrap their eggs in sacks. And so here's here it is right here. I want to show it to you. Look, see, do you see that sack right here? That's where the spider put her eggs to protect her babies. And here, snails, you know, are very slow, but they lay their eggs that hatch and grow. And so do, look at, do you see the snails? Do you see those baby snails? Wow, let's see. Oh, oh, here we go with insects. Insects who have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one will hatch into a hungry caterpillar who will grow, 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 then climb up a stem, change into this, a chrysalis, and change again one summer morning. That's how, that's a butterfly cycle. Isn't that neat? Bam! A butterfly is born. Boy, it does look different, doesn't it? Like here, so it was a caterpillar. And an egg, an egg, 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 got bigger, 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 bigger. Remember the story, the hungry caterpillar? Just like that. Then it turned into a chrysalis. And then a butterfly. But you know what? When it comes out of the chrysalis, the butterfly has to open his wings up and let them dry because the wings are a little wet. If he starts to fly when the wings are wet, he's not going to be able to fly. He'll fall down. So he has to air out his wings a little. Then he's able to fly. Isn't that a beautiful butterfly? Animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and don't lay eggs are known as mammals or mammalia. I hope I'm saying that right. Spiny anteater. Here's a spiny anteater. He looks like a funny animal, huh? And here, but these are two exceptions and they both live in Australia. A duck-billed platypus. See? So these animals lay eggs and they also give milk from their body. That is interesting. These are the only two animals that do that. So these are amazing animals. See, here are the eggs of the platypus. Doesn't the platypus look funny to you? Because it kind of looks like a duck, huh? And maybe a beaver? Funny animal. Chickens aren't the only ones. There's no more to discuss. Everyone lays an egg is oviparous. Remember the word oviparous? Animals who don't lay eggs have babies born alive and well. But that's another tale to tell. See, here's a mammal, a cat. This was a wonderful learning book. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Have a great day.